All right. We are top of the league, 18 matches left. We're in the middle of a transfer window. We have two offers out for Jorge Mudugata and Marcelencio Asajas. We have sales out for Amar or for Roy Korsmit and Prince Dubé and loan offers in for Amari Bell. So we're unloading all the guys that we want to unload except for Kaufman. It's all really quite wonderful. And we've got a match to kick off the day as well, so... We're going we're gonna to hit that hard. We've got Evud Plintic. I've always been a huge Evud Plintic guy. You know me. Ah, yes. My incredible lack of midfielders highlighted again. Thanks to the sales that we've done, we are a little, just a little skinny in the midfield department. So Sibic is going to make the bench. And then Petros Mantelos is there but our team has been reconstructed after our incredibly long three-week break that uh, we just went on and it's time Evud Plintic would you like number two you would wouldn't you so defensively wing back is like a wide ball winning midfielder no 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 don't think about him that way ball winning midfielders are different they're unique in their aggression that they attack with like from their defensive position, a wing back on defend is somebody that's going to look to not get caught too far forward, but they will take their chances to cross and advance the ball when they're presented. They're not going to try and force it at all. They're going to wing. I like wing backs and defend, honestly, especially with guys that aren't great athletes that have like good crossing. That's a terrible call. Boo! Now I know why I lose. Yeah, two wing backs. You need. Oh, he almost saved that. Two wingbacks, you need to have a very good defensive structure outside of that because that leaves you really exposed. Uh, exposed. Uh, but we have lost, like, our last – every true road game this season, we've lost. I don't know what the cause of that is. Probably just a lack of mental toughness, and it's a young team. But UVA will be back. Goal! And so will knock Breda. Not a lot of shots from us. They're really stifling us, like, at the point of attack here. Oh, baby! Jeez, and crackers, Batman. It's Alex Lopez. Dude, look at the ride. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Huh. Well, and Dom's losing. Yeah, we actually aren't. Oh, my goodness. Not the new guy. Not the new guy. Thank you. Guitar's up 2-0 right now. <laughs> I'll be honest. I they choked at the World Cup. Qatar cho oh no way. I mean, I can't blame him for shooting that after the goal he scored. Good win, boys. Good win. That's a very good win. Now we have the huge cup match coming up next, but we've started a return from the break with a win. We're looking cozy top of the league right now. Nunez just ripped his lower leg open. So now we're out our top two right wings. Jorge Mudogata. The 29-year-old Peruvian league acquisition. We understand the level of player we need to sign to make a difference for us in the league this year. Adaptability is a bit of concern, but we do have a couple of South Americans on the team already, so I'm hoping that and the Spanish speaking will allow him to adjust more comfortably. But we just sold our holding midfielders for 1.2 million and 900,000, and this is why we do our scouting. We knew we could go after Mutagata for like absolutely nothing. Our other signing at defensive midfield, Marcelencio Asajas from Suriname. A mild hatred of big matches, but a consistent ball-winning presence who is not rattled particularly easily. Just a, a good defensive midfielder, and we need five of those guys on our team with the way that we play, so here he comes. Antonio Van Wick, you're on the loan list. Congrats on the move. Amari Bell is going to Athens, Kalakea. He's going to the Greek Super League. Have fun, dude. Hopefully we can turn that into a freaking transfer at the uh, end of the season. Yes! Roy Kortschmidt's gone! Dude, f*** you, man. You were a pro. <laughs> Mr. I'm a backup goalkeeper who's not playing much, but I'm upset because you told me I was going to be a backup, and then I turned into a backup. Get the hell out of here, Roy. Big match here. This is the round of 16 of the Dutch Cup. We have played our way into it by beating two Eredivisie teams. We now play a third Eredivisie team. Our team is set. We're ready for the big time. We're ready for the show. 
Can we beat a third consecutive top flight team in the Dutch Cup and continue what is a magical run? My heart is knack. Let's go win this round of 16. It's Knack Breda, the leaders of the second division against Heron Vane of the Eredivisie. Let's go, boys. Get back. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Long game. I don't know how, but they've turned a poacher into an absolutely lethal, deep-lying forward. Good defense from Plentich. Oh, Bezo had that, dude. Bezo freaking had that. The momentum graph, we just jumped all over it. He's on. Oh, that's ours. Oh, great pass by him by. Yes, yes. Go, Donnell. Go, Donnell. Go, Donnell. Knock it down. No. This is the last of it. This is basically everything we can throw on it now. Well, we got a highlight immediately, but it doesn't look like ours. Oh, he just lost to the Dutch Cup. Damn it. On the 17th, Prince Dubé will be moving on. Wow, did everybody at the top of the table lose? Chad, I think we might be off to a nice, comfortable season here in the second division of uh, of the Netherlands with a team that was not projected to get promoted this year. We're flying. Dang it. Oh, they're afraid to go ahead, Eagles. Well, I'm not afraid to go ahead, Eagles. I think we are going to go ahead of them. tough out there but we have a good fit team good fit team that's ready to play we should go with brian laser though evud plentix looks a little tired and we do have three center backs that we love so i love them all they're like my own children except one's been loaned in actually that is like my own children especially in leagues that are as competitive as the top couple leagues one injury could make a big change to your quality. That was beautiful. That was gorgeous, Alex Lopez. Take a bow. Like, there's a lot of ways, you know, football managers, the same as soccer, football in real life. There's a ton of ways to be successful in different tactics and different squad building philosophies. All I can tell you is how I do it, right? And we win a lot. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Robert Soldrikas! And it's 2-0. The jump man. It's the Netherlands. It's not that far. Oh, goodness. Don't call that. Are you kidding me? We got to that ball first. Oh, let's go. Big hands now. God, Bezo, you always go the right way. You never get it. That's insane. Dude, got a hair transplant. And he was like, oh, I'm hurt. I can't play for a month. Because he was invited. He, he looks good with the shaved head. What is a like a Bubakar didn't need a hair transplant. It's not like he was one of those guys. Like he just got a hair transplant because he wanted a hair transplant. Right? And he <laughs> misses a month and just tells him he's hurt. That's so crazy. It's like getting a Brazilian butt lift in the middle of the season and then just being like, sorry, can't play right now. We got the three points, even though we weren't at our best. We didn't dominate the whole game, but we did get the three points. That's what matters, and we're looking we're looking good. Providence and Eldrikas both hurt. Looks like Eldrikas might miss out on the next match, but it is the worst team in the league at home. So we do have financial firepower if we wanted to use it, but I don't really feel the need to use it because I don't think there's guys out there that we can really improve our team with that actually want to play for us at this point. Prince Dubé's headed to HJK today. Absolute failed signing. Uh, not sure why a squad player was sold instead of being used more often. Well, we just had other strikers that we liked more. We signed Prince Dubé at the beginning of the window, and 
Yeah, then it just wasn't the wasn't the sitch. So don't like this guy. Benny Traore, thank you. I've already got my boys scouting him. Good recommendation. I appreciate that from the uh the agent. Oh no. He's got an offer from Viking. All right, so I, I think this guy might be a real star for us, Benny Traore. So I'm going to negotiate the offer now. We have 58000 to spare to try and get Benny Traore. All right, Benny Traore. Oh, he would be okay with squad player. He wants some money, obviously, but how about a non-promotion release clause, old Benny? He's okay with that. Literally minimum wage for a uh, non-EU player in the Netherlands as long as we put a non-promotion release clause in there. And honestly, we're 10 points clear at the top of the league right now. I feel pretty comfortable with that. So we're playing Den Bosch. We need to win this match or else it's a disaster and we need to ring uh, multiple serious alarm bells. You got all that, everybody. Okay. I know it's the middle of a transfer window. Things are always up in the air, but most of our selling business is done. So everybody can feel good about that. For the favorites, we should be winning this one comfortably. We are at home. Let's continue our dominance here. They have three points all year. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They have three points all season. They don't have a win all year. We're going and attacking. Uh, I'm actually going to make a few changes here. We're going to be... St I didn't know they were that bad. What you want to do in that case is try and put a ton of pressure on them because the vibes are clearly terrible in the dressing room, so you want to force mistakes because of their bad cohesion and stuff, you know? So that's what we're going to try and do. Wow. They are terrible. Keeping the spirit of the dad jokes alive and well. Ooh, nice move. Nice goal. goal! Olivier in charm. Oh, yeah, Providence. That just feels mean. Jumpman picked up a little injuries out for the game. Come on, Torres, dude. I try and get you one goal. I have no idea where he came in from. I don't even care. I don't pay attention to any club but ours. You know, that's that's how real I am. Zay Falk, lay it off. Yes. And oh, it's gone in! Patricio Nunez with his first goal for Knock Breda. Oh, Patricio! Oh, get there, Nunez! Goal! Yeah, this is the result we'd expect from a top versus bottom match, exactly. So they got the name French Fries because of their weak-willed, flip-floppy nature. Somebody's never watched the French rugby team play before. Benjamin Jimenez, the guy that was signed before I got here and then happened to join in January. We have completed a loan out for him to Lommel in Belgium, which I knew. I always knew they were in Belgium. So that's actually freed up uh, a good amount of our wage budget. So it's not invested in Benjamin Jimenez, who they were paying like a legit first team player but i am obviously not going to be playing him like a first team player you know we've done so well for the club can we invest in the club let's improve the training facilities yo they've invested 4.6 million in improving the training facilities wow we made the club so healthy in one less than a year that we are literally improving the training facilities and that's the answer Let's go, boys! Away against Sadio Den Hog, and then we've got our transfer deadline day kicking. Bruh! Looks like we're going to have to dial in real quick. Giving up the early goal from a pretty lazy-looking cross. Torres should have crossed that early. No, it's going to be a pin. Obvious. Dude, there, that is weird. We gave away some really cheap pins earlier in this stream, but we are getting the cheapest pins back now. Holy. Oh, Polivier Pincham with his 16th goal of the season.
Good God, buyer. Good God, what are you? Jesus. Go up to attacking, be a little more aggressive. I left trap outside on. I was too distracted by the history talk, dude. It was Steph Curry and then LeBron. Uh, LeBron's Ronaldo. I would say... Oh, get in! What? Like, we scored, but at what cost to my own mental health here? My striker's teamwork is so high, he passed that. Just shoot the ball, dude. He's not even looking at the goal. Passes it back to Sonata, who does well to finish it, but, like, what are you doing? What are you doing, Oldrikus? Like, Axel Witzel, but the best player in the world? Like... <laughs> Oh, is he on? Yeah, one of the best players on the other team that we're about to play in the playoffs is not at practice. I'm taking everything from that that I can. We did not score the winning goal. It's a 2-2 draw. We weren't good enough. Evid Plentix is Plentix is is not not feeling himself there. Mikaios also looks great, but we can drop. Polivier, Pincham for Caputo or Kalebe. I'll pay you 500000 They said no. I'll pay you 750000 for Caputo. We'll also start to, we'll, we'll start the process with Kalebe. He's cool with that. I mean, dude, you're surplus to requirements, man. I, I'm not playing this game. Cool. We got rid of the salary raise for getting promoted as well. So we have a con we've got our contract in for Kalebe. We're working on Caputo. We're gonna go for both. Sibic's headed to Helsingborgs. We are going to try and move that other winger. So Sibic is gone. Unsure about selling a useful depth option. We have other useful depth options, to be honest. Caputo's bid rejected. So they're very, very hard set on the 1.4 million, is what I'm hearing. So Mr. Pressing Forward that doesn't like big matches and isn't particularly versatile. How about a million? You want the 1.4 for Max Caputo. I, I feel that. I do. We wait. The only smart move is to wait. Uh, it's an end of contract deal. I'm such an idiot. Wait, I'll have the opportunity to buy him now, won't I? We'll just accept it and we have the opportunity to buy him now. Now you give me the opportunity to buy now. Yes. For 22000 Beautiful. Welcome. Thank you. I'm glad I remembered the rules just in time, and he's here. Already not liking you, and you're a little afraid of big matches. Ho! Oh! That's Cape Verde. Ivan Alves. Two national team appearances for Cape Verde. 30 first team appearances for Fafe. 15 to 20 touch. Unbelievable athlete. Great holy trinity. I'm literally going to sign him right now. I almost don't want to sign him. So I'm like, if we go to another club, I'm going to want to sign him then. But this guy's going to, I want this guy to play for me at some point. I'll pay 210 up front and lower the appearance fee to 40. And you got it. Wow. And that was an agent. That was an agent that came to me and was like, hey, he's available for 210,000 if you want him. He's in the Portuguese fourth division. And I'm like, dude, I'm watching this. I'm watching five seconds of film. Like, you know, not touching it, not touching it. It is utterly mandatory that he says yes to that. I'm not touching it. All right. He wants a minimum fee release clause. No, this dude is the ticket to the promised land. Absolutely not. I will sell him for a hundred million next year. Please. I have a friendly relationship with Andre Figueredo, which is why he brought me this absolute gem. I just didn't want him to auto-reject it, but I wanted to get rid of all of the raises. We'll give him that right now. Just make sure the release clause isn't there.
The dude's a god tier shadow striker. Absolutely god tier shadow striker. Uh, he needs to work on his passing. Obviously, he has a, he has a pretty significant hole in his game, and it's his passing. But this dude is a god tier, hard running, gagan pressing shadow striker, uh, explosive, unstoppable type shadow striker. Oh, yo, he just got an offer from Homestuds for Vernerson. He may become unsettled if not allowed to speak to them. I don't know. He's thirty one. It's like 1.1 million for backup left back Victor Vernerson. Yeah, I'm taking it. I'll take that money for Victor Vernerson. Covers all of the transfer business we've done all year with the sale of a 31-year-old backup. And we have Monday Akile who can play over there. That was a well-timed sentence. He just got hurt. But it's not that long of an injury. We'll be completely fine. <laughs> Do I have an end goal? Yeah, to become the best manager in the world. We want to see how fast we can rise to the top of the game. Oh, no. Marco Bizzo is getting an offer. He's getting a contract offer from uh, Goetzeborg. He's going to be mad about that. How did he take that? I just got rid of a promotion 35% wage increase. All right, dude. Marco Bizzo. We've negotiated. I would imagine he'd take that. I would be very surprised if he didn't take that. Are you guys ready for this debut? This is going to go super hard. Are you ready for this debut? Uh, dude, Abdul Rahman's still not back. They must be crushing it in the Asian Cup. They're in the final. Pulling a Portugal right now. They finished third in their group, and they are literally in the final. Oh, our team is set up so perfectly. We even have a natural shadow striker in behind. Oh, Ziff. Oh, I just, yeah, I can't see him. He's over there. Got it. For the favorites, we should be winning comfortably. Ivan Alves is down for that. It's us against Young AZ. Oh, great. Young AZ is about to scout Alves so fast. <laughs> he had a very good career with us. 6'7", 260-pound Jamal Blackman. This is a beast. Goodness gracious. All right, dude. We dominated the entire first 30 minutes of the match, and we're down 2 nothing, headed towards halftime. That sucks. All right, let's play a game called Where's Robert Soldrikas? Found him. Goal! Yeah, you can feel the comeback now, can't you? Comeback's on now. Herrera, Alves, love the movement, love the movement, love the aggression. Goal! And it's finished off by Joaquin Torres. Alves. Alves taking him for pace. Floating the ball. Good heart to come back. Man, we should have won that game. Got to set a higher standard. We weren't good enough. We got to be better. We're nine points clear top of the league now with that draw. And Japan has won the Asian Cup. For the first time since 2011, it's the Whappities that are Asian Cup champions. After Australia won it in 2024 and Qatar's 2019 triumph, it's Japan back on top. Saudi Arabia is still waiting for their first win since 1996. But we do have Abdul Rahman Garib back, so that's cool. Gods and Generals. Thank you. Gods and Generals is the name of the three book series. It is fantastic. Victor Vernerson sold for $1.2 Hell yeah, brother. The U.S. Civil War uh, the US Civil War was still nasty. Wow, dude, really? Abdul Rahman Garib got back from Asian Cup. He's been gone for a month. He gets the flu, and he's like, dude, I want to extend my vacation a little bit. Hey, boss, I have the flu. Taking my time getting back from the Asian Cup. They literally got all the way to the final. He gets back, gets the flu. Good gracious, Garib. I like for I mean, by the time he finally plays again, I'm going to have forgotten he's on the team. Why are we upset? Oh, because we drew the last match. We've actually drawn the last two. A couple of come from behind draws. Let's just not give up goals early in the match. Does that sound good? Uh, we're going to have Augustine Pereira try a game where he's on fullback and attack. All right, here we go. Ruben Providence, you haven't done enough to impress me lately. 
Stick to the plan. Be patient. I'm going to go with a full wave of I have faith in you. Didn't really do much. We're away against Telstar, who haven't won in at least five. Let's get after him. Oh, nice ball. Say Wellison. Joaquin Torres. Oh, dude. Why is it? Oh, Torres is having that. Get in, son. We are in the Joaquin Torres era right now. Great way to ward off complacency, guys. Great work. Slowly ease our way forward so we get better runs. Oh, again, we've not played that to Uldrikas. Why? Oh, that's a good ball. That He was off. Dang it, Torres was off, not Sonani. That was close. That, and now he'll make his own space. Oh, great ball. That is spectacular. That is a spectacular, perfect ball from Mbai. This is the history of the Nunez. <laughs> uh, wins are what matter, and we got the win. On the road, maintained our advantage over Fulendam. Emmanuel Agbadu, yes, I am aware. I think he's awesome. He's big and strong and manly. He's got the jawline of a Greek god. I am aware. But he also has 1.8 million, and we don't have 1.8 million, do we? Do you have that lying around somewhere? Because if you do, let me know. I'll be happy to take it off you. All right, what do they got? We already made that change, so we're good. We don't have the funneling players the outside again, although we might want to do that again here because they're being very, very, we're scared of you with the way they've set up their team here. Hello, Camber. You're fifth in the league. Why are you playing an 8-2? Let's go, boys. Let's get that win back up on the board, shall we? I heard the song the other day. I was like, oh, that's a good song. So I just made a radio off it. It's been a good radio. Oh, Elvis! Oh, it was almost a magic first goal for the Cape Verdean youngster. Yeah, he's got some separation ability, and we are once again dominant. So I'm going to go up to attacking just so we make a bit more aggressive runs, you know? And it's Aldrikas! It's Robert Aldrikas! The jump man down from the stratosphere into the back of the net. Try a different approach. I'm not giving the complacency talk. I'm just going to go out and say, hey, guys, great first half. We deserve to be in the lead. Impending immediate concession. And by just float this one into Aldrikas. We know where this is going. There it is. Come on, Roberts. Dude, the keeper's up. Just volley it. What are you doing? Where's the quality in our team? Just volley it whole field. Like, what it, What do you mean you can't score from there? That was not an easy game. They made it tough. They they, bat, they gave a heck of a halftime talk because they really got control of the game there for a little bit. But we've managed to put three points together against Camber as well. And Full and Dom are trying to hang with us. They've strung a couple of wins together, but we are creating some pretty serious separation here. We feel comfortable right now. You know, unless we really get into a bad run of form, I feel like we're all right. We did just draw a couple matches, though. We showed a lot of heart to make sure those weren't losses, but we haven't been bulletproof. All right, y'all. That's as far as we were going today. Hi, I'm Zealand. That's it for the edited down version of the stream. If you want to check out the full stream, you can head to the Zealand Streams channel, which is a repository for every live stream I've ever done in full. And you can also check out the Zealand YouTube channel, which if you haven't seen that yet, then how did you end up here? It's good to see you though. Hope you enjoyed. Hope I won, scored some goals or whatever I was playing today. It's good stuff.